Hey, we're expecting new numbers from the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services about the spread of the flu across our state. Our team told you yesterday at 4 o'clock a child in eastern North Carolina died due to the flu. We know that child was from the eastern part of the state, but DHHS has not released an age or a hometown. We do want you to take a look at this map, though, from the CDC. It's the most recent one from October 22nd. Again, we are expecting to get an updated map later today, but you can see North Carolina listed in orange showing a high level of flu cases. South Carolina in dark red, that means very high levels of the flu. Doctors are saying this is very early start to the flu season. In fact, data shows it hasn't been this bad this early in more than 10 years. This year, for every 1 million people, 15 have been in the hospital with the flu. Compare that to 2019. At the same time, there were only four flu hospitalizations per 1 million people. So usually flu activity picks up sometime after Thanksgiving. It peaks in mid-January and mid-February. But this year, we've started to see much higher activity in October. So we're about two-thirds of the way to our typical peak already. Doctors are urging you to get your flu shot. In most cases, they are free. There are also clinics being held. You can find that information, where to get that flu shot, on our website at WBTV.com.